Hey everyone. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is volume and the volume of cylinders. So the first thing you want to do is kind of understand the concept of volume. What is it? Volume is the amount of something that's inside any three-dimensional object. So with the volume of a cylinder, what we want to do is we need to make sure that we know the radius, we need to know the height. Why? Well, you have to know the formula. The formula for volume is the base area times the height. Now what is the base area? The base area is a circle, one unit high at the very bottom of your cylinder. Now, since it's a circle, we use the formula pi r squared, which is the area of a circle. Then we have to calculate, let me do that again, we have to calculate all these circles that are stacked on top of each other to fill up our cylinder. And that's why we multiply that circle by the height. All right, so that's our formula. Okay, so now that you're uh, into geometry, one of the things I always found worked really well was how to follow these simple steps and you can solve any problem easily. Step one, always write down the formula. So many people will try to skip this step and then they'll make a little mistake along the way and they'll wonder why they got the answer wrong. Step two, make sure to plug in the numbers that the formula is asking for. And step three, get your answer. That's when you have to do your arithmetic. That's what you've been studying for all your life. All right, here we go. So let's say I had a radius of five inches. Let's say I had a height of seven inches. In order to solve this, step one, write the formula. Since we're dealing with the cylinder, the base area is a circle. So we have pi r squared for our base area. And then watch us plug in the numbers. I get five is my radius. Sorry, everybody. That's Siri bugging me. All right, notice the radius is 5, h is 7. And so I end up getting 25 pi times 7, which is 175 pi. This may be the answer your teacher wants. You can ask them. But most people will think that they have to multiply by 3.14, and then they get the about answer of 549.5 inches cubed. Notice, step one, write formula. Step two, plug in numbers. Step three, get answer. Easy as that. All right, so here's this one. Step one, write formula. Step two, plug in numbers. However, they didn't give us the radius, they gave us a diameter. So for the radius, I had to plug in six because that's half the diameter. Step three, get answer. 144 times 3.14 is 452.16 inches cubed. All right, so we can move on to some real life problems. Let's say you had some salsa. How much salsa is missing from the jar? How much salsa did your brother eat? All right, what we have to do here is step one, find the volume of the jar, which is step one, write formula. Step two, plug in numbers. Notice five is my radius and 10 is my height of the entire jar. And step three, get answer. So from there, I have to find the volume of the salsa. Step one, write formula. Step two, plug in numbers. Notice now my height of the salsa is only four. And step three, get answer. To find out, but that's not the answer I wanted. What I want to know is how much was eaten. How much is missing from the jar? So 750 minus 314, 471 cubic centimeters of salsa has been eaten. All right, let's have you guys try one. How much salsa is missing from the jar? And in this situation, do me a favor. If you want to, go back to the previous slide and see uh, and watch it again as you try this problem. All right, I'm gonna give you a second to try it, so hit pause if you need to. Okay, I'm back. I hope you noticed that the volume of the jar was the exact same thing, because the same jar. Volume of salsa changed. So when we subtract, we ended up getting a different answer. How'd you do? All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Step one, write formula. Step two, plug in numbers. And step three, get answer. 
If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask your teacher. Have a good one.